All right, with the cook out of the way, we've kind of jumped forward now eight to 12 hours and eight to 12 hours of soaking after you've taken the corn off of the heat source. This is the time that we call nixtamalization. This is where kind of the real magic happens for making a table tortilla from scratch. Nixtamalization is a f one of the greatest human achievements ever, I think, discovered. It is really a corn alchemy process that makes this kind of unassuming, hard to eat, unpalatable, like grass thing into something that's incredibly delicious, nutrient dense, uh, and just really good for you. The nixtamalization is more complicated than it sounds. It comes from the combination of two words, nextly, which means ashes, and tamali, which means dough. We're really just taking corn, letting it sit in an alkaline solution, and that's breaking down the corn to do a couple things for us. First, because it's alkaline, it's actually sterilizing the corn. So you can imagine like in old days before we really had any ability to test for pathogens, you take a really highly alkaline abrasive thing like calcium hydroxide or ash is what used to be used and you let it sit in that it starts to kind of kill any pathogens that might be in that corn so aflatoxin bugs whatever the case may be it gets rid of that it's also activating the corn's actual nutrients believe it or not corn does have nutrients in it um, you know it has it's rich in niacin and especially when it's paired with things like beans and squash which are kind of companion crops to corn and traditional milpa culture you have an incredibly balanced food group furthermore we're talking about the gelatinization that's happening in in uh, the cooking process this is super critical uh, to corn because corn does not have gluten it needs a little bit of an advantage to be able to get to a point where it's binding and it's it's you know sticking in a tortilla right like you want to be able to sort of slightly pull a tortilla apart for a table tortilla and it has some give to it. You don't want it to split and break. So without nixtamalization, you can't get a table tortilla. You can't get a recipe tortilla. You might just get kind of like, I don't know, wet grits or something like that. That sitting process is actually nixtamalization. There's not much to really see there, but there is a transformation.